In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own AI executive assistant that's going to create calendar invites under your name. It's going to actually create and send out emails to whoever it is that you want to send out emails to. And it's even going to add to your notes list so that if you think of something, you can just ask the AI to add it to your list instead of you manually going in there and typing it yourself. Let's get started. So for the trigger, I'm going to use Telegram because Telegram is an easy to use app. I can get on my phone, on my MacBook, on my laptop. The platform doesn't really matter so I can access my executive assistant from wherever I want. So if you just go to telegram, web.telegram.org, sign in, all that good stuff. And then in the search bar, type in bot father. This is going to be a bot maker and it's really simple. So I'm just going to click on restart bots, click on the start here. We want to create a new bot. So click this over here, name your new bot. Let's call it executive AI assistant. Now let's choose a username. Um, it has to end in bots. There we go. Let's copy this token over here. Go back to any then click on add first step, type in telegram. And we've got a couple options here for us. We want this bot to trigger as soon as we get a message in. So if I come back here, it's going to be the on message trigger. I made a couple accounts before, but if you've never done this, just click on create new credential. And again, copy this, come back here, paste it, click on save, and it'll make sure that it's valid and it should be. So this is um, N8N's way of accessing your Telegram bot and pretending to be it. Connection is successful. Let me exit out of this. Now let's actually test this out. So I'm gonna click on test step and now it's listing for a test event. So if I come back here, go back to bot father, copy this username, put in the search bar. So this is the bot that we just made and let me click on start and type in, well, let me make sure that this is on. So if I go on test step, say hi there and I come back here text is going to be high there. Now let's get to the fun part. So I'm going to click on plus sign here and type in AI Asian. So this is kind of the powerhouse within N8N. By default, it's going to be json.chat input. I believe that's what the N8N chat input testing is using. But in our case, we're using Telegram. So we have to change that input. I'm going to click on this drop down. We're going to manually define the source for the prompt and we're going to use this text over here. So that's how that's going to work. So whatever I put into Telegram or whatever the user puts into Telegram, that's going to flow right into the main prompt, the main text within this AI agent over here. Let's quickly add a system prompt. So this is going to be kind of giving instructions on what the purpose of the AI agent is. I always find that a little helpful and a little more personalized. So I'm going to say you are Lisa, the executive assistant of Jeet. You help me book in appointments in my Google calendar, add items to my to-do list, send out emails on my behalf. So that's good enough. Uh, you can always play with this prompt later on. Let's exit out of this. We have a couple options to play with here for the chat model. I'm just gonna use simple open AI because that's what everyone knows and I know it works really well. For credentials, if you've never connected to an open AI account before, just click on create new credentials. Go to this URL here, platforms.openai.com. And if you just go to the API keys here, click on create new secret key. I'm just gonna name this YouTube demo. Project default is fine. Copy this key, come back here, paste it, right? Same type of deal. After a while, it's all the same, to be honest with you. And connection tested successfully, exit out of this. So now we're all connected together. Model, you can pick whatever you want. 4.0 mini does the job just fine. So I'm just gonna use this. Great, now is the important part. This is where we can actually start using tools to do different things, actual agentic behavior. So if I go to tool here, let's start off with a Google Calendar because I like that the most personally. Click on Google Calendar tool here. Here's where things start to get fun. So how do we determine what the start and end time of our Google Calendar invite's gonna be? The answer is obviously you wanna use AI, but specifically, I'm gonna exit out of this. We're gonna use the from AI module. So what this is gonna do is that it's gonna call AI on whatever text we put in. So obviously when we're booking an appointment, we need to give it some like start time and end time, right? Or it's gonna kind of guess an hour or so, I believe. So the from AI, basically whatever text you feed in here is gonna extract out the different parameters that we specify. So in this case, I'm gonna specify start time and I'm gonna copy this, same thing, but it's gonna be end time. So now what's gonna happen is if I give it a request of booking a meeting tomorrow from five to 6 p.m., it's gonna individually take out the start time and the end time and call the Google Calendar API. That way it's set at the right time. The only other thing I wanna do is add in the title and I believe it's called summary. So if I do this and I say meeting 
title, then we should have everything set up. Make sure that it's an expression. Um, and it's going to say execute previous node for preview. Uh, we haven't ran this whole thing yet, so let me run it. And then in a second, you'll see how all of this comes together. Let's exit out of this and go to executive assistant here. Let me say, I want to book in a meeting on Tuesday, March 18th, 2025 at 8 p.m. for my dinner. Before I forget, let me make sure to turn on the workflow or else this thing's not going to work. So if I click on test workflow here, go on enter and come back here, it's going to do its thing. Looks like it has called Google Calendar. So if we come back to the Google Calendar here, we're going to see dinner from 8 to 9 p.m. on my calendar completely done for me. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's so simple as well. If I come back here to the Google Calendar, you're going to notice that it has automatically put in the values that I specified. So like the start time, the end time. I believe this is in UTC format. And the meeting title is dinner, just like how I specified over here. So that's the first function of this AI executive assistant. Let's keep moving. Let's add the ability to send emails on my behalf because sending emails throughout the day just gets annoying after a while. So if I click on plus sign and type in Gmail tool, credentials, just sign into your Gmail, you should be good to go. Tool is set automatically, resources message, operation is send. Um, again, this is where we're gonna need a dynamic value, right? So I don't want it to send the same email every single time to the same person. So like based on whatever message I put in, based on whatever email ID I type in or say, uh, I wanted to send accordingly. So we're gonna have to use the from AI module here again, and let's make sure it's an expression to from AI, and we're gonna specify the to email address. Subject, I'm just gonna say subject here. And it's gonna be an expression. And then message will be message. I think we are good to go. So let's just try this out on the first try and see if we can get this. Come back here. I'm gonna say send an email to jeet at applygpt.com with the subject youtube says hi and the body right around i can even say the text hi there how is it going come back to my workflow click on test workflow and let me submit this and let's see what happens looks like it did execute the gmail node and when I go to my Gmail, it says YouTube says, hi, hi there, how's it going? And it was sent zero minutes ago, so you know that it's not fake. The final thing is gonna be adding to my reminders list. So oftentimes during the day when I'm busy, I just wanna bring them different ideas that come in my mind, but I don't wanna have to kind of sit there and write it out. So this is kind of where the assistant will come in and I have some dummy values here, but the idea is just kind of add to this list throughout the day so that I don't have to sit there and write it on you know, pencil paper on the side, you guys can see it. That's actually pretty straightforward as well. If I go to the tool, and search for Google Sheets. Just like before, just sign into your Google account and you should be good to go. Operations gonna be a pen row because we're gonna add new things to this list. If you wanna kinda of get fancy and update this list over time, you can do that, but I just think of it like a brain dump of what's coming to my mind and I can just go in there manually and edit it as required. So we'll click on append a row. Uh, document is called reminders. And then the sheet name is just sheet one. So it should just be one option here. For values to send, I just have one which is a reminder. So if you have more columns and different data you wanna keep track of, then it'll show more items here and you can do it accordingly. But I just like to kind of keep things simple, right? We're already using all this automation. If I go to expression and type in from AI again, naming is actually pretty important here because I don't want it to get it wrong. Uh, most of the time it doesn't, but let's just call it to-do list item and the brackets there and why is it invalid syntax because I have to finish this parentheses and frankly that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to exit out of this let me go back to my telegram and type in add get protein powder from Costco to my to-do list here let's make sure we click on test workflow come back here click on enter and Looks like it is picking the right operation here, which is Google Sheets. So if I come back here, we do get a get protein powder from Costco. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you're seeing how easy it is to build powerful AI agents with N8N. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. And if you want more tutorials on AI agents just like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna see how I use N8N to scrape Google Maps, watch this video up here. Bye.